Welcome back. We're going to continue with our series on ionic compounds and we're moving on now to polyatomic ions. And what are polyatomic ions? Well, basically they're a collection of non-metallic elements that form together to create an ion. Um, I have four of them uh, in example here. Uh, you treat them exactly the same as any other ion. Um, there is on your periodic table a chart and this periodic table is the one that I've been using here in our videos uh, but any periodic table of ions uh, should have a table of polyatomic ions uh, listed here and you can see that the they'll give you the name of the polyatomic ion and then the chemical formula of that you can see here uh, I have two elements that are joined together actually they're always nonmetals and they are together and you treat them exactly like you would a regular ion. Uh, the majority of them are negative, you can see here, okay, and there are a few positive ones, but again, you just have to take a look at your table and um, you treat them exactly the same way as you would any other ion when you, uh, when you write the formula. And I'm going to give you a number of examples uh, in my following video about uh, how to name these and um, as long as you understand that when you see them, how you recognize them is uh, by the easiest way to recognize polyatomic ions is that there is more than one element present. And how do I know that there's more than one element present? When I see a number more than one capital letter. Okay, so here we have sulfur and oxygen together that form an ion. Okay, we have oxygen and hydrogen that form an ion together. We haven't come across this before. Uh, they're, as long as you can identify them and recognize them, they're going to be relatively easy to deal with in name. And, and again, I would never expect you to memorize them at all. Science.